Again, this is layer 10. That's one of the benefits of doing a video step by step. I can actually keep track. So layer 10 coming up. And this one is drawing with fairly small brushes. These happen to be filberts. And they happen to be uh, silver Grand Prix brushes. And yeah, there's not much question that these are my favorite brushes uh, in the world. Um, Rosemary makes really fine brushes as well. Uh, but for some reason I got on the silver bandwagon years ago and have never quite gotten off. Love them. Okay, so there's, I, I call this stage drawing, but it's, it's actually sort of a combination between drawing and glazing. It, it, this layer right here, when I'm finished with layer 10, I want my painting to have its darkest dark zones already in place. Now, of course, I miss that sometimes. Sometimes I fail at that, and I need, I need to come back later and darken something. But that's, that's only if I screw up at this, at this layer. And the goal here is, among other things, is to nail down my darkest dark. So here's a big tree in front of a setting sun sky. And uh, so I'm, at the moment, not really doing what I would call drawing. I'm really doing a, a glaze over limited area. Let me, let me change gears here then, and, however, and do some drawing. I'm mixing up different colors. Now, listen, it's very important. Of course, the, the, the values that I'm using right now are dark, right? Therefore, without any question, the, um, the paint that I'm using is transparent. Absolutely. No question about that. You would never do this with opaque paint. Uh, if you, uh, again, that will be, this will be spelled out very much in the book, but if you want a quick explanation that it's called you get dark with transparent light with opaque and if you follow me for any length of time you'll be able to echo that mantra along with me in your sleep dark with transparent light with opaque and if you want a demonstration of why that is so i have a youtube video already done it's called uh, again just go to youtube and do a search for dan nelson avoiding mud and you will find about a 10 minute video that demonstrates i think very well why and how why that rule is true you get dark with transparent colors light with opaque surprisingly a lot of really good painters don't know that rule and there's some painters they are better than i am uh and they don't know that rule but I'm going to be so arrogant as to say, even if they're better than me, they would be, they would be better than they are if they heeded that simple, simple instruction. You get dark with transparent color. So right now I'm getting dark, right? I'm, I'm drawing, sort of like drawing outlines, sort of, and glazing. All, both of those are dark acts. <laughs> and... Um, so, of course, it's all transparent paint that I'm using. Now, sometimes students get confused. Where do you buy this transparent? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Let me show you my palette again. You don't buy transparent paints, for goodness sake. You, you buy paint, any kind, all paint. Just you make it transparent by adding enough medium to it, which my medium of choice is liquid. Okay, there you go. You don't buy transparent. Now, that's yellow ochre right there. I never try to make yellow ochre transparent. And of course, I never try to make white transparent. Um, white transparent is a complete visual oxymoron. There is no such thing as transparent white, even though some marketing, some paint company actually sells a transparent white. I joke with my students all the time. If a, if a paint company is selling transparent white, what should be in that can or tube? The answer is 
No, air, right, nothing. There should be nothing but air. And if it's transparent and it's white, it should be literally nothing. And I know what they mean. What they mean is translucent white. They mean white that's not totally opaque. That's what they mean. But unfortunately, whoever company that is, um, they, they have misused their language. And of course, because they don't want to get so esoteric as to say, here's a tube of translucent white. People go, what? So people buy transparent parent white mostly because they don't know what they're doing and uh the, frankly the painting company suckered them in with some marketing uh fancy footwork there's no such thing as transparent white those two terms are uh opposites of each other there is that did i get off did i <laughs> did i jump on that in soapbox hard enough <laughs> I know I did. Okay, I'm jumping off now. Will you let me? I get to jump off. It was fun while it lasted, but we don't need no more of that. <laughs> um, so here I am getting dark with transparency and um, having lots of fun. I, I'm going back and forth between today. I'm actually, uh, this is a little bit unusual. I'm actually going back and forth between uh, permanent rose and viridian green. Uh, any any transparent colors combined will make a dark a dark color. My buddy Mike Rooney challenged me a couple of weeks ago. We were painting together our annual painting excursion in Ocracoke. If you'd really like to be a part of that, send me a note. But you have to be a pretty good and pretty serious painter. And some of you fit that description. Both good and serious. We don't party. We don't drink. We don't watch TV. We don't carouse. We don't flirt. We paint. And it's a lot of fun. Anyway, Mike challenged me. At the, he said, You're, you, you keep using that dark black stuff. He said, that kills your color, dude. <laughs> and uh, so I thought about that. I said, yeah, okay, well, I'm going to try to be a little bit more careful. And I'm using, a, a, frankly, a pretty dead color right now in spite of Mike's protestations or observations. But... Um, I, 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 I say the same thing when I talk about um, when I talk about using black. You know, uh, every art professor, I'm exaggerating here, but every art professor in the Western world says, don't use black. Well, that, um, they, they ignore that. What they really mean to say is don't misuse black, don't abuse black, because black kills color, and they're assuming that their students always want more and more and more color. Well, that's a big assumption. Because frankly, there are some colors sometimes that ought to be killed here or there, here or there in the painting, on the canvas. There's a color that ought to be pushed back. And frankly, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm, I am anti-coloring some, some of this stuff as we speak. I'm killing some colors because they need killing because it, it, they're too bright. I need to push them back. Anyway, again, it's just one soapbox after another around here, isn't it? <laughs> Don't tune in if you don't have the stomach for it. <laughs> if you can't stand the heat, stay off Dan Nelson's YouTube. <laughs> uh, stay out of the kitchen, right? I hope you know. I trust you know when I'm kidding. And <laughs> when I'm just having fun with you. Having fun with myself. There's nobody in this room but me. Nobody here but us chickens. And uh, my granddaughter was in here a little while ago. I'm sure you all enjoyed hearing and seeing Lake. She's a smart little cookie. Of course, all of my grandchildren are smart. Goes without saying, right? We were visiting her a year and a half ago, so she was, what? Not quite four yet. And, uh, and I, I was pushing around in a shopping cart. We were doing some shopping before a family vacation. She was in my cart. And she made, she made several comments. And I said, wow, you're really a smart little girl. <laughs> she said, yep. It's because my mommy says, I'm astute. <laughs> I'm astute. <laughs> Out of a three-year-old, <laughs> I'm astute. 
Grandchildrens are wonderful. Exhausting, but wonderful. One of my heroes in that regard, Don Hadfield. Don, if you ever see any of these things, man. Saint Donald, that's what they're going to call him. Don Hadfield, good buddy we painted together in, in France about nine years ago. Can you believe it's been nine years, Don? And uh, can I tell your story a little bit? I mean, I, I just, I, uh, boatloads of affection for Don and, and respect as well. So he, um, whoops, I've been playing music that isn't covered by my copyright. Forgive me here. Man, YouTube's going to send me a note that said, you played some copyright music. Anyway, in the years since our painting together, Don's wife died and then his daughter died. I'm just going to leave it like that. And Don adopted his three grandchildren. Full-time artist. He's older than I am. And he is raising those kids single-handed, essentially. I mean, he has friends, but he is papa to infant and toddler primary age kid. Go, Don. You are the man. Your reward will be great. Anyway, how to get on that? Ah, just a chance to brag about one of my friends, that's all. Pure and simple. St. Donald Hatfield. If you, want, if you want to see some good artwork too, look just Google Don Hatfield uh, art, Don Hatfield paintings or something. Beautiful stuff. You can read his the details of his journey online somewhere, probably on Facebook. I don't know. Um, on that same same trip. Oops, hang on, I'm going to hold hold that thought for a minute. I'm just about done here. I need to think about what I'm doing. Be careful. It's real dangerous to just start, turn your brain off and just paint. Don't ever turn your brain off and paint. (laughs) Stay engaged, stay engaged, stay plugged in, stay, stay tuned. So I need to zone in on what I'm doing here. Okay, I think I'm done. Now, quick quick explanation. If you have, you know, a couple hours break, if you can afford to stop, this is a great place to stop because the next layer we're going to do, I'm not going to stop, but if you can, this is a great place to stop. Let this dry. And if you used, if you've used a lot of liquid as I have, This will actually be dry in an hour and a half, maybe even less than that. And uh, because then the next layer won't pick up this this dark colors. But I don't have that luxury. We're going to plow right ahead. Just want to let you know if you have the luxury of stopping here, do so. Okay? Again, I'll be back in just a few minutes with stage 11. Thanks so much for watching.